Uh, Fitch Group is looking at our whole county EMS system to make recommendations on what to do about EMS. When you look at the seven providers that are operating, we're all independent. So there's not a lot of efficiencies uh, that we would probably have if we had a single system. And I've supported a single system for a long time, whether it's MedShore or the county or now the hospital is now in the picture. Uh, the hospital uh, uh, has, has become interested in running the EMS system uh, and uh, I've been contracting with AnMed for 40 years. I started uh, taking care of uh, their transports 40 years ago and uh, I've tried to work hard to keep them from wanting to be in the ambulance business. But uh, uh, when I heard that the hospital was interested, I went and met with them. I told them, I said, you know, if y'all are really interested in EMS, get involved with us from the medical standpoint of supporting us with uh, uh, quality assurance and uh, things that we need to help uh, provide high quality service. Don't get in the ambulance business. I don't think that's the right thing. We want, we want uh, you know, the hospital to be involved but not uh, delivering the service. I don't feel like they have the experience that the existing providers have uh, in delivering the service. Then I went out and met with each rescue squad chief and their board of directors and told them that, you know, we, we can kind of see the writing on the wall, that if we don't become efficient, you know, somebody else is going to be doing the work for us. So I've been meeting with them so that we can collaborate and decide, you know, what we can possibly do to be united and that work is still in progress. We are going to wait until this county study is done so that we can see what you know direction council wants to move to and then I want all the stakeholders around the table for us to decide what's going to be the best for those that provide the service and those that we deliver it to. So that's kind of work in progress and I'm excited that uh, EMS is being looked at because uh, I want us to have high quality service. Uh, in 2001, MedShore became the first accredited ambulance service in the state of South Carolina. Uh, uh, George, Dorchester County was the second one in South Carolina and after uh, three years of being accredited, they dropped it. It was just a challenge that they didn't want to uh, renew. And it is a challenge. I mean, it's, uh, it, it's tough to, to, to maintain the gold standard, but that's one thing that we have done and I think that that has helped us to provide high quality service. Um, Presently, uh, we deploy uh, up to 22 ambulances in the Anderson area and the Williamston area on, on a daily basis. We do system status deployment. Uh, you don't need 22 ambulances at 3 o'clock in the morning, but at 3 o'clock in the afternoon when the hospital is discharging patients, patients have doctor's office appointments, uh, school traffic is getting out and accidents are happening, you need to have a peak number of ambulances. So we do... Uh, uh, a system status approach of putting ambulances out on the hours where the call volume's there. We still have to have a minimum number of ambulances uh, to meet the county contract because we guarantee the county that we'll have an ambulance at the emergency within eight minutes and 59 seconds with 90 percent reliability and those are fractal times. So for every 10 calls we go, nine of them we're guaranteeing will be there in eight minutes and 59 seconds. That, uh, that takes a lot of work. Our computer and our dispatch center is moving ambulances around to make sure that happens. Uh, you may see an ambulance sitting at a shopping center, you may see it at a street corner. Uh, those ambulances are posted because they're covering several areas. Um, if we're down to level uh, one, which is one unit available for a call because the others are on a call or at the hospital, that number one post for us is 24 and 28 bypass. Uh, it's over on the west side of town because it can go around the bypass, it can come back into town, it can go back out uh, toward uh, Townville and uh, you know usually we'll have an ambulance that's at the hospital unloading so you know they'll, they'll be freed up and be close to the headquarters station. Uh, we presently have ambulances based at the uh, fire department at uh, Homeland Park. We have our own building in Centerville. We used to be at the fire department. We uh, are now on construction way just off 28 bypass. Uh, we purchased a building uh, after we moved out of the fire station there. We have an ambulance that is at the Hopewell Fire Department. We have an ambulance at the City Fire Station 3 on Simpson Road. And we have an ambulance at uh, the Williamston Rescue Squad and then uh, ambulances posted on Fan Street. Those are the locations that we have. Uh, again, the things that I think we would realize if we uh, uh, we're more efficient and consolidated. We would save money on management costs because each rescue squad has a chief. 
uh, medical supplies, vehicle maintenance, dispatch costs, and training. All those things could be realized which could be a cost savings to the taxpayers because we wouldn't need as much tax dollars to support that uh, as we do now because we're fractured and, and we're independent. So there's a tax savings there. But EMS is very political. Those communities have developed their EMS system and they don't want to lose it. They've, con they've donated money over the years. They have uh, contributed resources. Uh, the members over there, a lot of them were volunteer before they became paid. Uh, uh, most of them are still there when I started 40 years ago. So, you know, we have chiefs that have been around more than 40 years running their system. So we don't want to lose that. We don't want to lose the, uh, the community part. So we're hoping that uh, we can collaborate a plan that uh, can uh, mirror what, you know, hopefully the uh, experts that uh, deliver their program to the county council in a few months uh, can do. We just we want all the stakeholders to come to the table and work together as a team to, uh, you know, get those efficiencies, and that's something that I really hope will happen. So that's uh, that's really what we have uh, in EMS. Um, well, let me tell you a couple of things that have that have caused some problems in EMS. Uh, most of the providers have had to expand their non-emergency business to help subsidize their emergency side. So they would go out and transport dialysis patients. Medicare has really tightened down on dialysis transports. Um, the statewide, South Carolina was a test uh, uh, for, for the country and uh, Medicare has reduced the transports by 70%. 70% of the dialysis patients were found to not be medically necessary to go by ambulance. They could go by other means. Uh, so there's been a lot of revenue that's been lost uh, amongst the providers and uh, that's caused financial hardship. Uh, the other thing that is changing in our industry is quality assurance. Uh, we're looking now at QA, QI and uh, looking at the outcome of the work that we do. So that's, a, that's something that uh, is changing in EMS and uh, is being monitored uh, more closely. So um, those are the things that are happening in Anderson County. I, I, I will tell you that uh, change is sometimes painful, but I think it's good because the citizens deserve high quality service at an affordable cost. We don't need our EMS system to be so expensive that it breaks the, the bank and uh, that the user fees are too high. But uh, there's, there's a balance there. So we're working on that. Uh, some good things I think will happen from the study that's being done and by all the providers you know, coming together and coming up with a, an alternate plan and working with the hospital. The hospital's got a plan uh, to do the, the system themselves, but uh, I'm also telling them that they need to come to the table and join us and they've agreed to do that. So it's work in progress. So um, I'll take any questions on the EMS side before I tell you a little bit about the corner side, Rick.